All right, so the weather has been not too shabby outside in California. So I'm bringing you guys another inside video. I just had a topic of discussion. I thought I would share with you all, <coughs> excuse me, because I feel like a lot of you guys or a large percentage of you guys can relate. But even if, you, if you're not introverted or shy per se, I feel like you can still take something from this video. I pretty much just wanted to talk about my experience as an introvert within skateboarding. Like naturally, I'm quite introverted. I was an only child, so I grew up like just like hanging out with myself a lot and like just using my imagination and having fun by myself, that kind of thing. So when skateboarding come along, I thought, okay, sick. Like here's this thing I can just go out and do by myself. I didn't really start skating with anyone until I was like 13, 14, around that age when we had a little crew. Prior to that point in my life, I'd just been like going out and skating by myself. And I just thought it was just this thing that you could just do by, by yourself, which you can. But also skateboarding also offers this massive community and sense of belonging kind of thing if you allow it to. What I mean by if you allow it to is like if you're an introverted or shy person, you may be new to skateboarding and you like a rock up to the park and there's all these people there that just look like they fit in and look like they're meant to be there and they're all skating super good and they're like wearing all the cool stuff, all the right stuff and you're like new, it's gonna feel super intimidating. I just wanted to share with you guys my own experience because maybe it'll help you guys along your own skate path or skate journey or whatever. As you guys may know, I moved here from Australia. So I used to live in Australia and we had a tight little crew would go skating every week and it was sick. I felt super comfortable. But then from then, I moved over to the States. So now I'm in Southern California and I had to start over all over again like skating with new people. And the first time I ever skated with people was I went skating with a PAL team. DeVille, the team manager, had like DM'd me on Instagram and he's like, yo, do you want to come and skate with the PAL team tomorrow? And naturally I was like, hell yeah, like I'll be there. But in my head I was like, oh my God, like, I felt like for some reason I had this massive anxiety about me because I felt like, oh, I got to make sure that I like wear the right stuff and like, I'm like, being a certain way and like doing the right tricks and everything else. And the funny thing that happened was I went skating with these dudes and I couldn't land anything because I was that in my head about everything. I, my go-to tricks, I couldn't front Smith, I couldn't front tail, I couldn't even front 50-50 because I was around these people and I was like, that's stuck in my head. It may seem ridiculous for you guys to, <laughs> to hear this, but that's like the reality of being an introvert is like constantly being stuck in your head and being super self-conscious about everything. And when it comes to skateboarding, I feel like everyone's out skating to have fun, do their thing, get tricks, and just hang out, you know? And it's a very social thing. And when you're an introvert, it's kind of, it can be quite difficult to be social sometimes. At least for me, it's like really hard for me to kind of be social in some circumstances. Like I'm very introverted. Like I like to stay home a lot if I'm not out skating. Like I like to keep to myself. I don't really, I'm not the most outgoing person, as you could say, like, I'm not that guy at parties that's like going around and like talking to everybody and stuff. Like usually if I'm at a party, like I'm just like sitting in the corner and if there's a dog, I can like pat the dog and it'll make me feel less awkward kind of thing. Skateboarding is this social community kind of thing. So you can go out and go skating and just meet new people and just have mates like that because we all have this common interest, which is skateboarding. And I think it's sick because it's like anywhere you go, if you go skating, you'll always have mates kind of thing. That's how it works in my head anyway. There's been moments where I've been out skating with new people and I've been super, super self-conscious because I feel like I have to kind of prove myself, not even to them, just to prove myself to myself, you know? And it's like, I have to make sure that I can like skate at a, at a level where I, where I think is worthy of being around other skateboarders. How ridiculous does that sound? But that's honestly how I feel inside. It's like, I've got to be able to skate at this level where they're going to accept me. I want them to be able to like see me skate and then I'm like accepted and I'm like, I'm like part of it. When the whole time you're already part of it anyway, because we're all skating and having fun together. But that's just how it works in my head. So a lot of you new kids that are getting into skating and you want to go skate your local park and 
you rock up and there's the locals and they're all shredding and they look so comfortable on their board around the park and they're wearing the, the cool clothes and they look sick. Like it can be quite intimidating, but just keep in mind, all those dudes had started somewhere at some point. They were, they were, they were that guy that was like new to the park or new to the spot. And all it takes is like, just for you to like kind of join in on that session and like join in on that whole vibe of like being together at the skate park like you don't have to be best friends with someone to see someone like land a trick and you're like whoo and like you just like give a bit of cheer like you tap your deck on the ground or like you're like hell yeah man like and like it doesn't take much and kind of doing that kind of breaks you out of that shy shell, makes you feel a bit more comfortable to be at the park skating. When I was in grade eight, I was in high school and we had a Tony, we had this Tony Hawk autobiography in the library and I borrowed it and I read it. And it was super interesting for me to read that he was like a really awkward, like shy kid. And then he found skateboarding and he kind of found his sense of like belonging and found his sense of like person within skateboarding and which I think a lot of skateboarders have found their sense of belonging. It kind of makes me feel less pressed on feeling like I don't fit in within skateboarding when I feel like skateboarding is like a bunch of misfits that didn't fit in. We've all found this thing and now we're in it together, if that makes sense. I myself have had that vibe at the skate park where I've rocked up to a new park and you see the locals and you're like, oh, I'll just like be very modest about my skateboarding and I'll keep to myself and I'll like, I'll just like do some like flat ground tricks here and like maybe do like a little 50-50 on the little ledge here, but I don't want to venture out into the rest of the park because I, 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 you know what I mean? It's like everyone's there to skate and have fun. You should definitely push yourself out of that that shell and that comfort zone that you're in and just skate the whole park. Even if you're not that great at skating, if, even if you're learning. If you're at the park and you're like trying to skate different things, the rest of the people there are gonna see that and they're gonna be like, oh cool, like they're trying this or they're trying that, you know? If they're not dicks anyway, but nine times out of 10, they're not dicks and then everyone has fun and skates together and it's awesome. It's an awesome feeling because it, you just feel like you kind of belong somewhere and you fit in, if that makes sense but you do feel like there's like a barrier holding you back from like really putting yourself there and like putting yourself out there and skating. It just feels like there's this mental barrier, which there is, I've felt it before and you can almost see it. You know, when you're at the park and you see a new person rock up and like, you can tell they're new at skating and they're trying to be super modest about it and they don't want to get in anyone's way or they don't want to like skate the rest of the park. They kind of stay stuck in a corner. You can just see it on their face and you can feel that vibe too. I've been there. Everyone's been there. You just have to kind of break through. You'll feel like you've accomplished something going to the skate park that day because there's been so many sessions I've rocked up to parks and been that dude and just been stuck in a corner and you leave and you don't feel like you've accomplished anything. Like there may have been some tricks you wanted to work on. You might've wanted to learn another trick, but you couldn't do it because you were like stuck. And I've had friends I've brought to parks before and I've been skating and they hadn't want to skate. And you can just see it. They're like, nah, I'm just chilling, man. Like I don't want to skate. I'm a bit tired. And it's like, you know, it's cause they're shy. They don't want to like break out of their shell and like have fun. It's only until later, like, once everyone kind of leaves that park or the locals like go and then they're like, oh, it's like my chance. It's my opportunity to like skate because no one's here. I can like be free, but it's like no one cares. Like just go and skate and have fun. You don't have to stress so much about what other people are thinking, which is stupid because it, I get stuck like this in my head sometimes and I'm trying to give you guys an experience to share with you and some advice, but I can't even take my own advice. I don't know what I'm trying to accomplish with this video it's just some insight and a little bit of experience for you guys that may be shy or you may be new to skating or you're introverted like I am. You don't have to feel super stuck in your head. Like you can kind of go out, skate and just get out of your head and just have fun skating and you will reap the benefits mentally, physically, you'll feel more confident within yourself as well, which is sick. That's another topic of discussion I'm gonna make another video on, probably with Dan, because he can articulate things very well, but just how to build confidence in skateboarding. It can take a bit, even if like, you know you can skate good, but the confidence in your head just isn't there, so it doesn't allow you to perform at your peak. 
another topic of discussion for another video though. I'm going to save that for another video. So far, I feel like I've just babbled on in this video, but hopefully you guys can understand what I'm trying to get at. Don't worry about this background. These frames are empty because I haven't drawn anything yet to put in them. So just pretend like there's some drawings in there or some paintings in there or something. If you are new to skating, or if you have felt the same way of, as I've explained in this video, please let me know in the comments below. I wanna hear your guys' stories. I wanna be able to kind of have more insight myself by hearing your guys' stories and experiences. One thing to definitely take away from this video is that skateboarding is for everyone. It doesn't matter what background you come from, where you're from, whatever how you dress, how you just, skateboarding is for everybody to enjoy. Please don't let any outside influence tell you or make you believe that skateboarding is only for like the cool kids at the park or the kids that, that like shred, you know. Skateboarding is literally for everyone. So yeah, please remember that, keep that in mind. And if you're new here, subscribe. If you've enjoyed and you've taken something away from this video, please let me know in the comment section below. I don't really do much talking videos because I just try to go out and skate and then sometimes I'll talk and like have Dan talk and whatever but the weather's been like really really Melbourne like here we've got some Melbourne weather in California right now so I'm just waiting for the weather to pass and then there'll be more skating bids so yeah also don't forget that if you head on over to evening mob and you type in lower 48 at the checkout you'll get free shipping USA wide anything on the web store. So yeah, we just had some new hoodies made up. So go on over, check them out. If you're not following me on Instagram yet, follow me on Instagram at Enochism. And yeah, everyone go out there, have fun skating and try to break out of your shell if you're shy. If you're not, then you're good. But yeah, cheers for watching the video. See you guys later. On your way back, bring me his son. On, 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 on your way back, bring me his son. On your way back.